Welcome to you all to the Emirates Stadium. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. And our match today, Arsenal, and they face Southampton. Is the Arsenal lineup. Kind of check starts in goal. Meza Ozil starts, looking to continue his great form in midfield. In attack, Olivier Giroud starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Here's the Southampton team for you. Victor Wanyama plays with James Ward-Prowse in the middle. In attack, Shane Long starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. Cross comes in now, hit on the volley. Good work by the goalkeeper. Olivier Giroud. Good position, they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. The score! Brazil! And it's a goal here. Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. This is another angle on it, Alan. Well, it looked like the timing of the, the pass and the run was spot on, but the defence squeezed, and I think they just caught him off. Good clearance. Here comes the cross. Well, it will be dealt with easily by the defenders there. It wasn't a great cross in truth. Now they can build from the back the opposition. It. Offside, that's an easy decision. He spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. Mesut Ozil. Oh, in goes the cross. And volleys for goal. And the own goal, yeah, that's what it is. Good position the player there he's ended up deflecting the ball into his own net yeah maybe just didn't adjust his feet quickly enough a little clumsy ramsey nacho monreal so it's one nil here as the half-time whistle goes Poor first half for the losing team, really. And that own goal rather rubbed salt in their wounds. Indeed, shot themselves in the foot against a team who doesn't need any help normally, so got a bit of work to do here. Arsenal with the substitution. And here at the Emirates Stadium, the second half starts. Monreal Ramsey Mesut Ozil Here's Walcott Played into the middle Giro They score
you love seeing headed goals. I do, for sure. I know Alan does. What a good example this was. Well, I've always been an admirer of good headers. And this was certainly one of those. A thumping effort. Ryan Bertrand. Closing minutes for Southampton and they're in trouble. I think this is going to be kitchen sink time, Martin, now. Plenty of long balls into the box, trying to get on those knockdowns. Aaron Ramsey. Mesut Ozil. Here's Walcott. Oriol Romeo. Aaron Ramsey. And he's moved in trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. Well, that is going to be the goalkeepers. Quite straightforwardly, quite simply. And he can pick the ball up. Seven minutes to go. Arsenal in full control of this one. And they haven't really taken their eye off the ball and the opposition haven't had a chance to get into the game. This is Campbell. And up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Good hands, bread and butter work really by the goalkeeper, but he did it very competently, he's having a good game. And that is the end, it's all over. Well, they always say it doesn't matter who scores the goal, and I suppose that's even more applicable when it's an own goal. Yeah, you take what you can get, don't you, because it will be on, the shoe will be on the other foot at some stage, and uh, they'll be delighted with that. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances. We're at Leicester today, as we say, a very warm welcome to you to the King Power Stadium. Alongside me is Alan Smith. Coming up for you, Leicester City play Liverpool. Hello, Torre plays alongside Mamadou Sacco in the heart of the defence. Jordan Henderson plays with Lucas in the middle. And these are the three forwards who'll look to provide the goals. Shots off! He's kept it out. Corner kick given. And it's a headed effort at goal. Post and gone behind. Chan. And his cross was well away from those trying to get there and turn it into a chance. That will be a free kick against Liverpool. Look at the wall. They're trying to sneak an advantage. Hasn't been able to beat the wall. Kazaki. Well, he slipped his man. That's super feet there from the player. The shot's up. Goal. Off the post and in. Even the goal scorer wasn't sure that that was going in, Alan. He, he was waiting and now he's celebrating. Yeah, his teammate there was actually getting ready to knock in the rebound, but. Uh... It's gone in, and it's a good goal. Another angle on it here. It's 
So the first goal, it's 1-0. Okazaki. Here's an opportunity, maybe. And now the shot. They've broken through again and scored again. And the keeper clawing at thin air there. He had no chance. Let's have another peek at that goal. Jordan Henderson, Lucas. Henderson. A couple of teammates who are clearly on the same wavelength. Jordan Henderson. Shot on, and it's just over the bar. He's uh, not been challenged. And shoots! Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. What a given. Menteke. Blows the whistle for the last time. Just looking down, the manager's got a smile as wide as the pitch because it's been a near-perfect day for him and his team. Yeah, definitely. A clean sheets and uh, one or two goals into the bargain so they can move on with confidence. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? It's one thing picking this lad out to try and stop him. It's another thing actually accomplishing that feat. He's in really good form. Another goal and another win for his team. Good day all round. Martin Tyler here with you as usual and delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here. The game today features Sunderland against Manchester City. Number 26, Martin Davis. Premier League to watch football they can really bounce around with the noise here yeah they do love the football up here they've, they've had to suffer at times as their team have struggled but it is a wonderful stadium Shot on. a decent effort just just off target yeah unlucky because uh, he got some power behind the ball just not the direction Spotted a teammate and he's got the technique as well as the vision to switch the play. This could be it. Brada! And he's put it in for the goal. The goal from De Bruyne up. And if you miss that, you look a little bit foolish, but he's found the bottom left with a plump. Let's have another peek at that goal. Fabian Delft. And that will be a goal kick. And we'll see whether they can see it through. Maybe they'll improve. Oh, he could be in. He's in the clear. Aguero. A well saved. The shot's on. What a game he's having, the goalkeeper. Another save. Yaya Toure. Oh, 
corner possible to score. Super goal. That's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. Patrick van Arnhol. Possession back with Manchester City now. Kevin De Bruyne. And shoots! What a fine save. This might be it. Off the bar. Back into play. Fabian Delft. It's a goal! The goal from Aguero, and he knew exactly where the keeper was there. He knew he didn't have to hit it particularly hard, you know. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Now Johnson. Sunderland really struggling to get back into the game. It's time for the Alamo by the looks of it. They need a goal and they're piling everybody forward. Brown! Oh, he's hit it. Too high. Substitution in progress. Going on now is number 14. And Jones. Sergio Aguero. Fourth official has indicated three more minutes. This could be a chance. Maybe for Manchester City. Sterling! It's a corner for Manchester City. Fabian Delft. And it will go into the middle now. Final whistle, it's Manchester City's match. I hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we have up on the commentary gantry. And the winning team will be enjoying it because a win's one thing, but to win playing that well, certainly in the attacking sense, that's almost the whole package, isn't it? It is. I mean, they, they swarm forward and... Uh... The opposition didn't know where to look. Uh, the movement, the work right, and then the finishing, you couldn't fault it. Hi there again, Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith's alongside me, and it's Barclays Premier League action for you. In our game today, West Ham United against Aston Villa. Idrissa Ghana Gay. Gay. Westwood. And the cross comes in now. Just needed to settle on the ball before striking the shot. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Valencia. He's inspirational and so industrious as well. Yeah, I mean, what he, he lacks in some areas of his game, he certainly makes up with his work right. Presswell. Oh, in goes the cross. Well, he's got his fist to it. Ali Sissoko. It's a quick break. Valencia. Missed it. Oh, 
Sheku Kuyate. Noble. Man in the stadium there to place it to the keeper's right. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Brilliant football from this team. So they can regroup now at a goal kick. The shot's on. Great save by a diving goalkeeper. West Ham United are given a corner. Cross. Noble. Valencia. And there's the last blast on the whistle today. Well, they got there in the end. Mighty, mighty close, but the right result. Yeah, I think that's true, Martin. Yeah, they contributed plenty, scored a few goals and, and just edged it for me. Well, he's had a very good game, hasn't he? Oh, lots of energy, lots of quality, and a good goal, along with plenty of chances. Hi there, I'm Martin Tyler. With me today, Alan Smith, and we've got a match from the Barclays Premier League for you. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Delighted to be here, as I always am for these occasions. This match is Norwich City against Tottenham. Tottenham untroubled defensively because they work so hard, they keep the ball. Well, they've got some good individuals at the back, and they've also got Great understanding across that back line. Johnny House. And that will peter out that attack. It's the goalkeeper's ball quite easily. Cross coming in now. Fantastic goal! One similar to this myself, Martin. Good header to the keeper's right. Another angle on it here. Bailey. He can hit it here. Very good try. Just off target. He's cut out the pass. Intercepting, if you like. And now can go on the attack, maybe. Very good passing from this team. Houlihan! A oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Kyle Walker. Dembele. Eric 
Richardson. It's a well-taken goal, and they're level. Let's see the replay now. Lamella. The shot's on, and that's a goal for Tottenham. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Start the game 2 1. And now the shot. Tottenham has scored. Well, it's a shot to nothing, but it's one of the best goals he'll ever score. Bottom left from that distance, incredible. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. <laughs> Matt Jarvis. Picked out a man with the cross, now a chance. Well, the ball deserved perhaps a better response from his teammates in the middle. The defender got there first, though. Yusuf Malumbu. Basov! Oh, he hasn't hit the target. Just one minute of added time to come, to Bennett. And shoots! An opportunity there. It's finished now with the final whistle. Great example here of counter-attacking football, Alan. They drew the opposition onto them. They did, and they have got players with pace, and they've certainly got lads out there that can finish, as they showed. Hi everybody, welcome to you all to the home of Manchester United, Old Trafford, the theatre of dreams. Alan Smith had plenty of dreams in his football career and a lot of reality as well. Alan alongside me, Martin Tyler. Today's game, Manchester United against Stoke City. Well, for consistent quality, you don't want to look much further than Wayne Rooney, he's been tremendous. Four goals in his last three games. Really does look a class act at the moment. And he's made the save. And it was a pretty comfortable one.
great goal that was, Alan. Well, sometimes, as a defender, you need a bit of luck, but they didn't get it there, and it fell at the feet of the man on the spot, the scorer. And we can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. Here they are, the Manchester United fans hoping that this is a prelude for better things. They have got the lead, they haven't been at their very best, but of course they're capable of upping a gear. And the cross is in. Good take by the goalkeeper, but no pressure on him. Now it's with Wayne Rooney. Well, here comes the support. Penalty for Manchester United. Did you see anything cynical in that, Alan? Oh, that is a clumsy tackle. It really is, and no question it was a foul. Substitution on the field. Going on the field is number 18. Well, we've got a substitution now. Great penalty. had no chance and that's a goal well worth analyzing again <laughs> the is out Sipped on past the keeper, but just past the post. Sure cross. Oh, it's the post! The player's a bit unhappy about this, but we can see it again, whether it should have been offside or not. It was called offside. Well, who'd be a linesman, but... This linesman, he's one of the best, and he gets it right here. Draw cross. Low ball in. And he's moved in, trying to jostle the opponent off his stride. This is how they love to play on the break. The shot's on! But he's had a go. So a reasonably comfortable margin of victory. The final whistle is gone, the game is finished, and the final score is 2-0. The manager will be very proud of this result and the way they achieved it with the blend of decent defending but really high-quality attacking. Yeah, I mean, it was swashbuckling at times, wasn't it, the way they poured forward, and the opposition just couldn't handle them. On Wayne Rooney watch today for us, really, as well as describing the rest of the game, of course, alongside me, Alan Smith. Well, I think we were right to pick him out beforehand. We thought he was a danger man, and that's how it's turned out. Another couple of goals to add to his tally in a fine win for his side. Hi, everybody. Welcome to today's game. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. And today, it's Everton against Newcastle United. This is now Everton. An open game but maybe these two guys might have an influence on it if they're absolutely on top of their game yeah these are the kind of players that you pay the big bucks to because they're match winners they're game changers so interesting to see if that happens here Suzuka Morales Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. Lukaku! Oh, well saved! And Everton have got a corner. Oh. 
Sizoko. Well, he's got support here. He's better usually at crossing that. that a defender who got there first quite easily, actually. Morales. Lukaku! And he scores spectacularly. See this again, this goal. <laughs> to Barry. Ross Barkley. Free kick awarded here against Newcastle. Down in the game and now down in terms of numbers of players on the pitch. Well, he's trying to do something for his side to get it back in this match, but uh, it's worked against and really now it's an awfully long way back. Sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Well, he's gone to ground, and whenever that happens, you're going to get penalised. Poor challenge. Forty-five minutes still to go. Second half underway. Jack Colback. Barry. And shoots. Oh, the extra player has definitely been a factor. In this goal, yeah, so often you see teams struggle with extra men, but not this side. They've been cute and they've picked out those little pockets of space. A goal from Barkley, and what a finish from him from miles out. And he's just stroked it home. That takes real technique. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? It's a real tussle between the two of them to try and get the ball. They've opened them up here, out in front of goal. Able to make a good interception to Barry. Romelu Lukaku. And the cross is in. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. And he keeps possession. Trot on! Very good stop here. And there's the final whistle. It's a win for Everton. Well, that's it, it's over, and it became a bit of a stroll in the park with the extra players. Yeah, they really did make the ball do the work, and the losers trudging off will be absolutely exhausted, I'm sure. Well, very much on his game today, Romelu Lukaku. Got himself a goal and uh, put in a really good shift. Excellent performance. There are Martin Tyler with me today, Alan Smith, and we've got a match from the Barclays Premier League for you. Yeah, thanks, Martin. Delighted to be here, as I always am for these occasions. Coming up now, Crystal Palace, and they play Bournemouth. It's interesting at the corner of the ground where the most noise comes from, the fans are allowed to stand up which uh, is because the ground regulations say you have to be given a seat. You don't have to sit in it. The chairman himself told me that. Yeah, I think they've tried to use it. They've embraced the fanaticism, if you like, of those 
groups of supporters who uh, are just so passionate about Crystal Palace and uh, really just stir the team forward. Good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. This might be it! And there it is, the goal! Let's talk about placing it. He knew exactly what he wanted to do with it. a slightly different viewpoint on it. <laughs> Joe Ledley. Johan Kabai. Shots on here. Oh, that's what we've come to see. That's a brilliant goal. on earth has he found the right hand corner from that distance not only that he's done it with a side foot and here is another angle on that goal Keepers had to make a save. And the shot was a decent enough one, but too straight. And he goes for goal with his head. Well, that was close, but a fraction too high. his man now the shot well definitely attack after attack here doing what they've done to get into the lead they're trying to get a bigger lead there goes the cross it's wonderful work from the goalkeeper again from the header. Well, he was on his toes, he was very fit. Good stop. Well, a reasonable gap between the two teams as the referee brings an end to the game. The final score, 2-0. Great day for them to win the game and keep the opposition out. Yeah, it was job done, wasn't it? The opposition weren't at their best today, but you still have to beat them. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team. We've got Barclays Premier League action for you. I'm Martin Tyler, and with me is Alan Smith. Yeah, I'm Martin. Great to be here. West Bromwich Albion in this game today. We'll play Swansea City. Wayne Routledge. Chance to put it in the box from here. That's a clever pass. He's got his shot off now. They've scored. And the way he's hit that, it's just flown into the top right-hand corner. Different angle on it here.
Uh, saw it all the way, the goalkeeper, and it's comfortable in the end. Sessegnon. Oh, in goes the cross. And it should be. That's off the top of the crossbar and behind. Just freshen things up a bit here, West Brom, I think, with a substitution. Chance from the pass. Andre Ayew. And shoots! With this goal advantage, they've now got a corner. One added minute, Wayne Routledge. And there we are, final whistle. It's been a rock of a defensive performance today. It has, they've come under an awful amount of pressure and you take a great deal of satisfaction from that as a defender. Some final thoughts on one of the better performers today, Alan. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him. A very big welcome to you to Vicarage Road. Delighted to have your company. And I'm delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Watford in our game today against Chelsea. If you don't know Watford, we're just sort of outside northwest London. It's not that far away from Wembley. And Watford Football Club have had sometimes in the the lower reaches of english football but now they're back at the top table again yeah and i'm delighted about that it's only 15 minutes from my house so all power to watford Igalo. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there just needed to settle on the ball before diego costa the break is definitely on. Oh, and that's a penalty. Well, this could be the decisive moment of the game, Alan. Penalty given, that's bad enough. The player sent off, so they're going to have to play what's left with the ten men. And it's an opportunity for the attacking side to go in front. Well, it is, and you'd expect them to go in front, but the team down. But all stick together. Substitution One of the backup brigade is going to have a chance centre stage. That's an excellent penalty. He's given the keeper the eyes there and placed it to the left. Well, they want to see this again, this goal. Diego Costa. save had to really reach out for that with this goal advantage they've now got a corner yeah. 
Shots on here. A oh, great work by the keeper. The shot's on. He's kept it out. Great stop. They're taking up their positions now to deal with this corner when it comes in. to make the save and now they've got a corner on the attack again the team that's leading by one goal yeah i think he might have seen that light as well so good hands fabregas struck the post here well, that's not even close. Oh, he'll feel good about that. A really strong and clean tackle. Now the shot! A goal! Right into the corner by the post. Well, we see it again, how close it was to maybe hitting the post and staying out. But luck was with him. In it goes, it counts. Now, I think the goalkeeper thought he got his angles covered there. But uh, he didn't look too pleased when it rebounded in. Let's have another peek at that goal. It's a bad pass. He's given it straight to the opposition. Real good contest between these two as they jostle for possession. Space to try and hit it now. He's got a cross to make that interception. He saw it coming. Now Fabregas. They've linked up well. Can he do it? Goodness me, it's hit the post. Well, that's the end of the contest. Well, that's it. It's over, and it became a bit of a stroll in the park with the extra players. Yeah, they really did make the ball do the work, and the losers trudging off will be absolutely exhausted, I'm sure. How did you think Cesc Fabregas performed in the game today, Alan? Well, so often we think of his creative abilities, but a couple of goals here have won the match for his team.